everyone this is Dana welcome to my channel today's video will be my February favorites I know this is kind of late in the month but I really really wanted to share with you guys so let's get started okay you guys up first is this calendar that I received for free from Shutterfly and it's made out of a great like thick card stock and it has this uh, spiral at the top and we put our family name in the year on the front of here and they have different uh, backgrounds that you can use on each month um, and they had a lot to choose from so I kind of went with this modern I think that's what this is take on this calendar but when you open it up you can customize them with uh, of course their backgrounds different backgrounds that they have and your family photos so I started my calendar on February and you get a I believe a 15 month calendar no this is a 12 month calendar I got it for free so uh, my granddaughter and I we share the same birth month so I put our pictures here at the top and it says happy first birthday Callie uh, she just turned one on the 16th of February and you can also put pictures on uh, birthdays so I put her picture on the 16th and mine was on the 5th so I put my picture there and I absolutely love this little calendar and I think it turned out great and it was for free and this is the month for March here's my son dancing with Belle and receiving a kiss from Belle. Uh, this was from our trip last summer to Disney World and we had an absolutely fabulous good time and I thought this would be so wonderful to use some of our Disney pictures to put in the calendar. So that's what I did and like I said you can pick different backgrounds for each month and here is my son's uh, birth month next month in April him and my sister share the same birthday so I put their pictures up for April and here's my son on the 17th uh, but I couldn't put two pictures on here so I just picked my son of course and that was other family members birthday in April but I'll just show you the different months really fast this is for uh, May and this is for June this is where we went to the water parks at Disney World. And this is for July. My boys in front of uh, Disney World. And this is for August. This is my favorite picture of my boys. I think it turned out absolutely great. And this was from the Art of Animation Resort. They have a Cars building. So we stayed in that building. And this is out in front of the hotel building. And this is for September. My youngest son's birthday is in September, so I put his pictures up for September. And here is October. And that's us with the beast. And here is November. It's my daughter and her daughter. Even though their birthdays is not in November. I just used their photos for the month of November and here is December and these are pictures from our ugly Christmas sweater party so if you haven't checked out that video you should check it out we had an ugly Christmas sweater party last year and we had a good time and here is for January and it's for my mom my husband my daughter and my niece and they're all Capricorns so I put all their pictures up for January and that's it on my little free calendar. I absolutely love this calendar. Okay, you guys, up next, also for the home, is my beautiful all-clad slow cooker that I picked up in the month of February. And I have been absolutely loving this slow cooker. It is my dream slow cooker. I have been looking at it for many years, and I decided to take the plunge 
and pick myself up one. Um, my last, my old slow cooker, my husband broke the top and I was doing a dance secretly in my mind saying, yes, I'm so glad you broke the top. Now I can go out and purchase the one that I have been eyeballing for many years. So I was like, honey, you broke my top. So now I have to get a new crock pot. So this is the one I upgraded to and I absolutely love it. Uh, it is a seven quart. It's stainless steel. It has a stainless steel top. It has a, a removable insert that you can use on top of the stove and also in the oven up to 400 degrees. And let's take a little closer look at it. And here is the stainless steel top that I absolutely love. And this insert, like I said, is removable. And you can brown your meats in here. You don't have to use an extra pot to brown your meats. You just set this on top of your stove. And this is non-stick with a little oil in it. And you just put your meats in here that you want to brown. Or also you can put it in the oven. You can cook in this. You don't have to use it in the crock pot. You can also just cook directly in this little insert. And it's seven quart. And I love the oval shape of it. And I am absolutely in love with this crock pot. Uh, so you just take it and you just put it back in in the slow cooker and it has a digital readout here at the bottom and it lights up and it has a countdown uh, when we set it counts down backwards and lets you know how many hours you have left you can cook uh, the beginning of your cook time you can you do it on high or you can do it on low or vice versa and it has a warmer at the end of your cooking time so it keeps your food warm I believe for up to one hour but I absolutely love this crock pot well slow cooker this is a Pascoli Italian olive salad and this is wonderful on salad seafoods pizza uh, but I mainly use it on sandwiches. My husband makes the best sandwiches and we put this on our sandwiches and it just gives it yummy, yummy flavor and this is very delicious. Okay, for drinks, you guys, I have been enjoying this San Pellegrino grapefruit Italian drink. They do have other flavors. This is my first time trying this flavor in particular, the grapefruit. Um, but this is so refreshing and I just so love this little paper that they have over the top of their cans. I just really love their packaging. Uh, but this is really delicious. I love drinking it over a glass of ice. Okay, you guys, for my second favorite drink for the month of February was this drink from Sissy's Coffee House. It was a king cake latte. They had it for Mardi Gras season and it was absolutely delicious. When I tell you it was the bomb.com, that's what I mean. It tastes just like a king cake. And they're located in New Orleans, Baton Rouge, and Lafayette. If you've never been to CeCe's Coffee House and you're coming to Louisiana, make sure you stop by and get yourself a cup of coffee. They taste better than Starbucks. So go buy uh, CeCe's when you're visiting Louisiana. Okay, you guys, up next is this Brownie Brittle by Sheila G. And this is the chocolate chip flavored one. And these are absolutely delicious. It's a rich brownie taste with a cookie crunch and they're only 120 calories per serving. And on the back here, it has Sheila's picture and how she started out making brownies and how she came about making brownie brittle. And she's a proud sponsor of Cookies for Kids Cancer. And I thought that was awesome because uh, a small proceed of me purchasing this will go to that organization. And I first had these on a trip to Atlanta uh, on the airplane. So I was so excited when I seen these in the Walmart. So I have been munching on these since my trip to Atlanta last February. And if I can get this open, I'm going to show you how uh, the brownie brittle looks. Okay, this is how they look. They're little thin pieces of brownie and they're absolutely yum, 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 yum. You guys, you should really try these. And I believe these come in six other flavors. So I tried the chocolate chip, the toffee kind, and the salted caramel, but this chocolate chip one is my favorite. 
I think she has a chocolate mint one too. I want I really want to try that one. So these are Sheila G Brownie Brittle. Okay, first up are these beautiful princess cut stud diamond earrings that my husband bought me for Valentine's Day. And these are the favorite of the favorite. These are absolutely beautiful because as we all know, diamonds are a girl's best friend. And honey, thank you for these beautiful earrings. I really do love them and I will enjoy these for years and years to come. Okay, you guys, for my trip to Atlanta, I picked up this beautiful purple beaded bracelet. And I picked this up from the Dr. Martin Luther King Museum. Um, and this little gold bead here says hope. Also, it has this peace sign charm on here. And this charm has a uh, part of the I Have a Dream speech on it. And then on the other side, it has Dr. King's face and the year he was born in and the year that he died in and I absolutely love it and it is in my favorite color and it stretches for you to put it on and I purchased this like I said from the uh, museum that they have in Atlanta and I absolutely love this piece okay you guys up next are these uh, Steve Madden shoes which sneaker they are woven and they stretch and these are absolutely comfortable they have a memory foam sole on the inside and here's a little pull on tab to help you get these on they have this nylon sock that's sewn into the shoe and this toggle closure and i absolutely love these shoes it's like walking on uh, a memory foam mattress and they are absolutely comfortable and they stretch like I said and they are woven as you can see here um, but these shoes are very very comfortable um, the most comfortable pair of shoes I ever had in my life you should really give these a try the only downfall is you guys you have to size up a size or two in this shoe it does run very very small but once you get the sizing correct, you will absolutely enjoy these shoes. And I want to say they came in two other colors. I can't remember, but of course I got black. But I absolutely love this shoe. Okay, you guys, I bought two books from my trip to Atlanta. Here is a Martin Luther King Jr. book. And this book is just basically pictures of Dr. King from... Uh, him throughout his life as a baby, uh, as a boy, as a teenager here with his brother. Uh, also, here he is again with his brother as a boy. And also they have, you know, just family pictures. And here is him and Coretta and the kids. And here is a wedding photo of Dr. King and uh, Mrs. King and their families from their wedding in 1953 looks like so it's just full of family photos of Dr. King and his family growing up the house that he was born in um, that he lived in to the age of 12 we we visit that when we were in Atlanta also it has a picture of uh, the Stone of Hope that's located in Washington and this is his sister giving it a once over to make sure everything was okay. This next book is a freedom book and it's basically African American history from 1840s to the present. Um, really not the present because it stops in the year 2001 but it's just basically photos of African American history and like I said, from the 1800s to 2001. And each year you get to, they just give it to you in a bold print. And it's just beautiful photos of African American history in this country. And we purchased this from, like I said, the Dr. Martin Luther King uh, Museum. And we just love sitting down as a family and going through this book and talking about our history, past, 
present and future and this is just a wonderful book and I just love the photos in here I love looking at uh, photos so when I seen this book I knew I had to bring it home with me and it has a few famous people also in this book it has Michael Jordan uh, James Brown Muhammad Ali just to name a few uh, but like I said this is an absolutely beautiful book and if you've never been to the Dr. King's um, national site I suggest that you should go when you visit Atlanta uh, because I really enjoyed myself there and I'm planning on taking my children back and I just had a wonderful experience <music>